Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me read verses 47 to 51, or 48 to 51, where Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, and one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. Here is our text. Dear friends in Christ, today we continue to hear Jesus call himself the bread of life. The bread which feeds the spiritual life of the believer. You and I have a physical life and a spiritual life. Both need to be fed with the proper bread. Both are given by our Heavenly Father out of His gracious hand for His creation. He gives both physical bread and spiritual bread. While both are beneficial, only one has benefits that last throughout eternity. Jesus calls himself the true bread from heaven. God sent his bread to the Israelites as they wandered in the wilderness. Jesus says to the Pharisees, your fathers ate the man in the wilderness and are dead. We know that God continues to provide food for all people. God provided food for his people in the wilderness. And he provides the food that we have each and every day. And he provides extended care to his whole creation because that is the providence of God. To continue to sustain, to continue to feed, to continue to care for that creation which he has established. Even though one eats that which is provided for us, it does not have the qualities to give us eternal benefits. And it is not the true bread from heaven. We eat today and we'll have to eat tomorrow. No matter if we eat every single day, sooner or later, you and I will die. Jesus says to his listeners, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. It is true that not only did Jesus say, I am the bread of life, or I am the true bread of life, just because it says it doesn't mean necessarily it is true, because we know that what we say is not altogether always true. But in this case, Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and therefore his word is true. When Jesus asked the disciples if they wanted to leave him after he was talking about his death and resurrection and that they must eat of his flesh, some left and Jesus says to them, do you want to leave too? And they said, no, you have the words of eternal life. This is the bread that comes from heaven. Jesus is the true bread. Jesus came to give his flesh for the life of the world. And you know he did exactly that. He died on the cross for your sins and my sins. He suffered great pains 
so that you and I would not suffer those pains. Jesus indeed gave his flesh to the world. He died on the cross to give to you and I life. He died so that the world's sins would be forgiven. Jesus is the true bread from heaven to give his life for the life of the world. Not only had he said that many times to his disciples, but he did indeed fulfill that mission. The true bread gave his flesh for the life of the world. This bread is heavenly bread. It is God's Son. It is the one who brings peace to the world. This is the bread that also gives us eternal benefits to all who believe. Life forever. If anyone eats of this bread, Jesus says, he will live forever. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me has eternal life. Has everlasting life. Now and forever. This is life beyond one's physical death. This is the life that bypasses the second death, which is being eternally separated from God. This is the life that gave his life so that you could have life eternally. This is the death which Jesus suffered for you on the cross when he cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This is the death you and I and all believers will never, ever have to face because of Jesus, the true bread, come down from heaven. This is the comfort for you and for me. This is the comfort for you and me concerning our loved ones. This is the comfort that fills our hearts at the time of the death of a loved one so that we know for a fact that even though they have died and they have died in Christ, there is life, everlasting life, for them and for us. You and I believe and know that from the true bread of life comes eternal life. The grave cannot hold you. Eternal death cannot grab you. You will be with the Lord in heaven. These eternal benefits are yours by faith. We have already heard it in verse 47. I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting life. Then in verse 51 again, if anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. Both believing and eating are synonymous. Believing and eating are the same. Our souls are fed by the word. Jesus said earlier in our chapter, You have seen me, but you do not believe. Therefore you do not have this bread of life that gives eternal life. Thank God that he sent this eternal bread, this bread of life that gives bread to us, that gives life to us from the cross. Thank God he, his son died for us so that we might have forgiveness and eternal life right now. You have eaten this heavenly bread this morning. You have received the gifts of heaven through the word of God. 
when he declared to you that your sins are forgiven you, when he declared to you that you are his child, you have heard and have been fed by the bread of life. Your sins are forgiven you, and you are his. Dear friends in Christ, we know that Jesus is the true bread from heaven who has given his flesh so that the world would have the eternal benefits of eternal life. You have tasted and you have eaten of this heavenly bread this morning. And even if you do not come to the Lord's table today, you have been fed by the bread of life the true bread of life, who has forgiven you, who has established you once more, who has given to you the assurance and the gift of eternal life now. This eating has taken place in the hearing of the gospel, which he has declared to you that your sins are forgiven and that you have eternal life. Continue to eat the true bread from heaven through word of the gospel and at this altar receiving Christ's body and blood. Continue to eat true bread from heaven and live forever. Now may the peace of God that surpasses all understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus and life everlasting. Amen.